Hello Aries and welcome to your monthly zodiac reading for February 2021. These readings are intended to be timeless so if it doesn't resonate with you now it might resonate with you in the future or if you're finding this in the future then it's a perfect time for you. So I'm shuffling the mermaid type tarot deck which is a deck that I designed and made with my own artwork. I love to collect tarot cards from many various artists and out of respect when I do these readings I use my own artwork. Although when I do live readings I will use other cards because I'm not recording and not leaving the videos up for a long period of time. Um, it is an option for me since I have my own deck, so I use it. There are, a lot, there are plenty of beautiful tarot readers that promote cards, so I support them as well. But since I have my own deck, I'm going to use my own deck. Okay, so what's coming up for Aries in February 2021 or whenever you're reading this? going to pull three cards and well the first one is the eight of wands so that's something happening quickly that's quick energy that's coming for you in February and then I have the five of pentacles and the king of cups so if you're um, using any kind of symbology for letters this one is H and this one is R. <laughs> so you kind of got the HR situation going on here. Uh, now, um, Pisces also got the Five of Pentacles. You got the Five of Pentacles. As I go through the readings, I do take note of any kinds of um, repetitions and then I will add um, that kind of like summary as an overall chart for the month of February. So um, I might, I'm kind of re repeating myself a little bit here, but yes, you might be interested in watching the, um, the message for Pisces as well. These are all intended to be, um, you know, intuitive. And so if it resonates with you, great their general readings if it doesn't resonate with you that's fine leave it you have the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck which is the question mark so there might be some mystery for you in the month of february which is not bad for um love and romance which is also in february mystery goes very well with that vibe so you've got the king of cups that also goes pretty well with love and romance because the king of cups has to do with emotions. Although unfortunately this king tends to keep his emotions to himself and is not totally demonstrative, although he is a master of his own emotions. The five of pentacles is feeling a little bit on the outside of things, although you could always go inside. In some cases this is very literal, like you're literally spending time outside when you could just walk around and spend time inside. So it might be a bit of a self-imposed exile that you're feeling in February. Um, however, we did start right off the gate with this eight of wands which portends to kind of like quick changes or things happening very um, quickly in your environment. So this Wheel of Fortune as an overall card and major arcana would indicate that things are going to be changing for you whether you like it or not. The major arcana is forces outside of our control. So you can expect some change in your life to come in kind of quickly. Um, Hopefully that is you feeling as though you can come in, <laughs> you can come inside, that you can embrace abundance, celebrate with your friends, and um, maybe connect with this King of Cups a little bit more in the month of February. So, yes, that's my reading for you. Let me see if I get any other messages that come through. Um, 
Let's see. Well, just some fun things to think about with the uh, with the question mark with the fortune, um, because you have two letters here, an H and an R. Um, it could be kind of like a, a rotation that's occurring in some ways um, in your life regarding individuals. If the if the letters mean anything to you, and a change in fortune or a switching in roles or something along those lines or if it's not two people it's one person so something is changing for R and it's happening fairly quickly and um, let's see the five of pentacles is a card of many special characters in the depiction now typically it's people that are sort of stuck outside in the cold um, and in this case, they're just kind of like floating in this, uh, ocean together. So that, and the Wheel of Fortune, as I have it laid out on top of the cards, is kind of like over that. So in that case, it could be many, many people. So I am seeing kind of like a progression here in terms of something happening in your environment, Aries, in the month of February, which could be impacting you as the individual, perhaps you in a partnership, and then you also, in the larger sense, uh, you plural as in many people. So this change of fortune could be happening um, on these levels simultaneously where it's really impacting you personally, you and your close relationship, and then also you and your community. So this could be um, a good thing. And usually the Wheel of Fortune is interpreted as things moving in your favor. So I think that that is uh, good news for you. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If it does resonate for you and you wanna leave some kind of comment down below, that would be awesome. You, you never know, your comment might help somebody else with the things that are on their mind uh, this month as well. Thanks for listening. The collective reading for the zodiac signs in February is in this big tarot spread. Happy birthday to the Aquarius and Pisces out there. The sun is shining on you and your collective multidimensional personalities in this month's reading. It's likely we'll all feel out of body and perhaps even suffer a bit during this month. You might find yourself outside in the cold, forgotten, or even want to isolate yourself from other people. People who are naturally grounded and down to earth will have a better time navigating the far out there vibes. All of us will benefit from spending time in nature and noticing the abundance of wild kingdoms. In feeling our connection to the greater web of life and Earth's past, we can bring to life fond memories. Expect plenty of opportunities to demonstrate or observe people doing good works. This month promises to inspire us all into action and to charge ahead, so remember to balance that momentum with rest and reflection time.